Hi there, Sensei Victoria Whitfield here, and this is your weekly love letter from the dojo at naturalintuition.com, your source for channeled holistic stress management techniques and guidance for developing your natural intuition. It's my joy to be your Vortex Coach. Okay, so as a holistic stress management uh, expert and spiritual teacher, it's a really interesting line of work. Like I get all kinds of reactions and all kinds of stories uh, from people when they encounter who I am and what I do, right? I support visionary entrepreneurs like yourself and creative people just like you in creating a life that they love by harnessing their natural intuition so that they form, feel more centered and grounded as they get out there and share their gifts. And from time to time, that means speaking to people who don't quite get it or encountering people who love and need and desire support in that realm like they need um, the one-on-one -on -one or the group spiritual support sessions that I provide. They'll need it, but then they'll resist it, and then they'll throw their resistance, they'll hot potato that on me, right? Here's the thing. This week in particular, the guides are telling you what they've told me for many years, and that's take a risk, right? Risky requests. This week in particular, your visionary challenge, right, is to take is to take a risk by making a risky request. Now, what does that look like? That basically looks like inviting someone in to support you, to affirm you, right? Or to join you or to help you out, etc. Making a risky request. If you're watching this, chances are very, very likely that you are a natural healer, supportive caregiver, someone who's highly sensitive and wants everybody else to feel happy, healthy, loved, supported, etc. You care so much that you take strong, deep responsibility for making sure that everyone around you is well taken care of except for you. <laughs> you know, correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe, maybe I'm off base. Maybe this is, maybe this one isn't for you. Maybe you're amazing at making requests and that's wonderful. But to the rest of us that are watching this, this video, this love letter video, or reading through it, or listening to the recording, etc. We could use we can all use a little bit more practice asking for what we desire, asking for what we need, and asking for support. So this week in particular, the guides are challenging you to make a risky request. Right? What would that look like for you? What could you never ask for? I was like, oh, I could never ask, you know, my my husband to, you know, massage my shoulders. No way. No, 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 no. Or I could never ask for a little bit more time off uh, from, from my boss. No, 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 no. Right. Or I could never ask that beautiful person out on a date. No, 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 no. Right. I could never ask for you know, my, my own one-on-one -on -one session with Victoria. No, 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 no. I'm not worth it. I don't want to interrupt her. I don't want to interrupt him. Right? I, I don't want to be a burden. I don't want to take up space. What? Oh, look at all of those excuses. All of that resistance that just comes flying out of us. Right? Requests that are effective, that are really meant for you to move to your next level in life and in business usually feel a little bit risky. There's a, a flutter, vulnerability, because you're risking rejection. It, 
Well, it's the worst thing that could happen, though. They could say no. And guess what? There's another 7 billion people on the planet. You got that many more opportunities to find the person, the organization, the venue, the space, the time, etc., who can fulfill what it is that you need and desire. So what's your risky request? Is it for more time off? Is it for a sick day? Hmm? Uh, is it for flowers? Is it for a compliment, right? And an affirmation. I want to hear it. Type in the comments below or send me an email back at senseivictoriawhitfield at gmail.com. I want to hear your risky request, but I dare you to share it publicly, right? Mine's coming, but first... I hear the oracle cards calling in the energy. Talk about risk. Angel answers by Doreen Virtue. So this is the yes, no deck. So you're ready to play a little bit of Russian roulette? Let's go. Yeah. It's, this deck is similar to the old magic eight ball thing where you'd shake it and ask a, a yes, no binary type question. And it would say yes, no, maybe, ask again later. I always got the ask again later. What about you? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Angels, what do we need to know right now? Should we ask a risky question this week? Can we ask a risky question this week? You know there's no's. There's two no's actually and two yeses in this in this deck in particular. Can we ask a risky question this week? What do we need to know right now? Mmm. This is so good. You ready? Compromised! Compromise. This is so beautiful. Look at, there's the two hands. The higher self and the lower self. Mmm. Oh, they just told me to read. I'll give you the channeling that I'm hearing first, though. The guides say, when you ask, remember that it's not your way or the highway. Right? It could be what you ask for or something even better. Let your risky ask be of mutual benefit. Ask in a way that pleasures you as well as the person that you are requesting for. What would that look like, right? And also asking from a space of pleasure and abundance versus asking from a place of, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> you're not going to even answer my request anyway, so I'm just doing this homework because Victoria told me to. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> right? Compromise. Also... The guides turned this upside down and said, be careful how much you compromise your boundaries in order to meet others' requests. Remember, you have needs and desires too. So let's quickly go, go, gadget page turn. Oh, here it is. In order to create a happy outcome for this situation, you will find it necessary to compromise. Allow yourself some time to become clear about what is truly important to you, right? Some of you may be thinking, well, Victoria, I don't know what to ask for. Okay, don't, don't jump to it. Take some time to reflect about what you want or what you would ask for that feels a little bit, ooh, I can't ask that, right? Also take note of matters where you would be open to changing your position. Work toward an agreement where everyone wins. Same as the channeling. Beautiful. Be open to cooperation that would allow you to get what you need while also assisting others in fulfilling their desires. Is this beautiful or what? Be objective about finding a balance between respecting everyone else's viewpoints and still being true to your own. So good. This is where we're going to leave off. Your risky ask is actually a blessing. So be kind to yourself and share what that desire is because it could very well and it can very easily 
bless the other person by them getting to serve and support you. It gives them an opportunity to show you love. So here's my risk you ask, by the way. If you could, please send me a comment back or an email below. In what way have I touched you? All right. Maybe it was in this video. Maybe it's been over the years. Maybe in a group experience or maybe in one of your private sessions. But uh, as someone who's out and sharing, sharing, sharing abundantly, and it's my joy to share, sometimes I wonder, have I ever touched anyone or really helped them, right? I can tell you this is a risky ask because I feel a bit of emotion flutter. Like I, I wonder, right? Even I wonder, I'm not perfect. So if you want to return a little bit of the love received, please send me an email back or comment below and let me know what has been my effect on you, whether right now or in the past, etc. And if you're very new to my work, what do you see me doing in the future? I'd love to hear that. Okay. I don't know if anyone's going to answer that, but I'm trusting and putting it out there and I'm open to receiving your love, support, and affirmation. So, sending you so much love, regardless. Mwah! Make sure you subscribe on YouTube so that you get your love letters first every week. All right, we'll see you soon. Bye.